hello guys welcome back in this video we will see how we can add expandable rows inside the end design table then we will see how we can do nesting of the tables also we will explore the table props to see how we can make some of the rows at not expandable and at the last we will do some customizations so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the table component from end design and start using it so it will be a table and in the table we will be providing its columns and the data source so let's define both columns and data source so it will be const columns is equal to it will be an array uh, of objects and in each object we will be providing uh, the title so suppose we want to show the data of a user so maybe the title the first column is with title name and its data index on uh, the key against which we will be providing the data that is again the name and let's copy it and add few more columns let's copy and add more columns so the second column may be we can say age and the data index is age the third column may be address and that data index is again address and uh, for the data source let's define it so data source is equal to uh, we define it from the empty array and uh, let's create a uh, some dummy data so maybe we can create uh, around seven records and uh, each record will have at least uh, the data index we have provided above so we will be pushing an object and in that we will be providing uh, the, the name the name data index and age and the address right so maybe we can say name and plus we can say index maybe we can start the index from one so that name one name two instead of name zero and then the age maybe we can say it is equal to the index and then uh, we can say address and it's again address plus index right so let's save it and see here you go so the first column name second column age third column address and this is the dummy data uh, we have created here and we have we are pushing each object in, into the data source and we have provided the data source here and it, so it's populated right so to sh uh, show uh, which of the uh, fields uh, which of the rows we want to make the expandable so for that we will be using the expandable probe and in that we will be saying whether this row is expandable or not so it will be providing us the whole record and based on that we can either say uh, whether it is expandable or not so for now uh, what we, what I am doing is row expandable. Uh, I am not checking on the record. I am uh, straight away saying that it's uh, expandable, right? And in the expandable, uh, we need to render it. So it will be expandable row render, and it again it will be given giving us the whole record. And here we can uh, return any direct component. So for no, let's return the a p tag in which we we can say record dot maybe description, and we can define the uh, we can define the description while we are creating uh, the data source, right? We can say description is equal to description plus index, right? As you go so as soon as i have provided these two keys in the expandable it has shown the expandable row and uh, when i click on that 
uh, it expands so right now why it is expanding all of the key uh, all of the rows because we have not provided the key uh, a unique key for each row so let's do that here in the key we can say the key is equal to index so it is uh, a unique for each row if i save it and now if i expand any row it has expanded only that particular row right and we can collapse it and also instead of uh, showing uh, the expandable on each row we can uh, add a condition based on the record whether to show it or not so suppose uh, we say that if if record dot age is less than maybe 6 then show it right so here you go so when it is less than 6 so till 5 it is shown the, the plus icon otherwise it is not showing right because we have added a condition that only show the record uh, if the age is less than 6 right so we can uh, do that uh, in the row expandable so here we have uh, shown only the p tag we can even nest the tables inside that so here we can return any rec component or nd component here so let let's uh, let's do the nesting of the tables so here maybe let's add a condition that if suppose uh, record dot age are the are the key we can uh, because these are the same we can say if record dot age uh, is equal to equal to maybe on the fourth record we can say is four okay the spelling are not correct okay if the record dot age is equal to equal to four then we can return the table and uh, inside the table we will be providing the columns same we did above and also the data source so let us define the column for the nested uh, table maybe because we are showing the data of the user uh, we can uh, extend that and we can maybe we have the name address and description here uh, including the age we can add few more columns like uh, company name uh, with the data index of company name and let us add one more column maybe and we can say that company strength and it is company strength right and we can use the same data source because we are expanding uh, that and we can add uh, keys for uh, the company name along also uh, the company strength right here we can say company name plus index and in the strength maybe we can say index cross index a random number okay and here we can provide the uh, nested columns save it refresh and for the fourth uh, row we did that here you go if you expand the, the fourth one so it says company name and the company strength and showing the company name and company strength here right and for other one uh, we are only showing the p tag right and uh, also uh, there are a few uh, other props we can use so suppose we want to expand all of these uh, rows by default we can do that as well so default expand all rows and we can provide it true if i save it and refresh so it has expanded all of the rows by default right so this is not expandable so it's not expanded let's make it to false save it and if i refresh no expanded uh, or if we want to expand some of the rows we can do that as well so that is expand if 
extended row keys the default expanded row keys if we want to do by default when you, uh, it loads that we can provide here and if we want to uh, make it expanded row keys based on the external uh, maybe buttons or something uh, we can provide that here so whenever user will click on that so it will forcefully expand or uh, collapse those rows based on that and if we want to by default when uh, this table loads uh, we want to change the expanded ro rows we can add that here so it is this and here we, we can uh, we can provide the keys of the rows which we want to expand it by default so suppose if you want to expand uh, the key with one and two and if i save it refresh so the first two are expanded by default right so if I pass this empty, so and refresh, so nothing will be expanded. Okay. So also we can uh, override or customize these expand icons as well. So that is in the expand icon, and here we will be getting uh, the props. We will be we will be getting uh, whether it's expanded already or not and we will be getting the method on, on expand that we will be calling when, when when user click on that and then also we will be getting the record right and here we can uh, return maybe we can send if it is expanded then maybe we return an icon maybe we can say plus plus circle maybe two tone right and otherwise we can say minus circle two tone right and if I save it here you go oh sorry if it is expanded uh, then it will be it should be minus otherwise plus just replace this here you go the plus right now it's not expanding because we have not written the on click functions so let's write that and on click we will be getting the event and here we will be calling on expand this function and in that we will be providing the record as well as the event so same goes for the other icon save it here you go so showing the plus by default and if I expand it showing minus showing minus and uh, if I collapse it showing again plus right also you have not noticed that it is also showing the plus on the the sixth row uh, but we want do not want to show that on that row so here instead of uh, returning uh, this plus and minus we will be adding a condition that if record dot age is greater than or equal to 6 similar to condition we added here uh, in that case if if this uh, if it is greater than or equal to 6 then we will be returning null and if it's less than then we will be returning the icons right if i save it so there's no expand or collapse icon right and also if uh, uh, if we want to expand our collapse based on uh, clicking on the whole row we can do that as well so that is uh, expand row by click and returning is true save it and uh, if i now click on the row it expands and then collapse so we can expand it by clicking on the plus or minus button uh, or we can expand or collapse based on the clicking on the uh, the whole row because this is not expandable so if i uh, i'm clicking on that it it will not expand right so this is how we add the expanded rows or the the nested tables inside the end design table component so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like 
सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू